If you're struggling with trying to find a solution to a problem, if you've tried lots of different problem-solving tools, why not just stick around for the next few minutes and just try something a little different, where we're going to be using nature as a metaphor for the problem. I'm Alison Smith, and I've used nature as a metaphor for solving problems for the last 24 years. So let's get on with these nine images that I've put in front of you. Think about the situation that you'd like more insight about, but then put it to the back of your mind as I explore these nine images from nature. So this is just one of the many landscaping your life tools that you can use to give you insight. Your inner wisdom will tell you which of the following nine, or it may be a combination of them, that will provide you with the most insight. So let's look at number one, the first image of leaves that have been let go by the tree. And for me, this is about letting go of the old stuff so that you may focus your energy on that which will allow your long-term flourishing. I'll put a link to a poem I've written about that too. So number two, this image is brown leaves held by the moss. Interestingly, the insight for me wasn't about the moss. It was about the fact that those leaves have fallen on the moss and the moth is holding them. So it's allow, about allowing, for me, it's about allowing others to be there for you. It may be that as you observe these images, you get completely different insight and that's fine. You're using nature as a metaphor for your problem. I don't know your problem, so all I can do is uh, demonstrate the patterns that I'm seeing. You may be seeing others. So stick with me. Number three, the bark has been changed by the environment. And I think that's about staying firm, about weathering the storm, about knowing that you can stand up against whatever is thrown at you. Number four, I was noticed the softness of the fir tree. And so I think for me, that was about being flexible, reminding us to be flexible. Ripples on the water, reminding me, choose the ripples you send out. You have the opportunity to decide today the behaviour that you uh, send out into the world and therefore the ripples that you get back coming back to you. Number six. Interestingly for me, this was more about even though each of those fronds look similar, Each of them are different. So it's about choosing your path, um, accepting your own uniqueness, even if it feels like, you know, there's lots of there's lots of commonality between all of us, isn't there? This seven uh, seventh picture, I struggled with a little bit, but I I nearly I nearly changed it. (laughs) But anyway, I didn't change it. And for me, it was about moss on the tree. It was about the synergies, the fact that the moss and the tree, um, a symbiotic relationship, both helping each other. So it may be similar to that, uh, looking for people to help you. But I think this was about looking to people to work with, to be your guides, to, to help you on your way. The pine cones on the ground reminded me that seeds don't germinate overnight, so have patience. The fact there's a process, it's like you think of an idea and over time it germinates and then you'll see small growth and then, you know, in the spring things will start to happen. And finally, and this links to a lot of what I've spoken about, the book I've written, Can't See the Wood for the Trees. But interestingly, today, the insight I got was looking through the gaps. The fact that sometimes we get distracted by the noise, we get distracted by all of those trees, and yet we'll get the insight by looking through the gaps. Now, hopefully what I've done is given you a real insight about what landscaping your life process is all about in terms of using nature as a metaphor for your life. I'd love to know what pattern resonated for you. That might also help open up if somebody's struggling. They've sort of seen what I've said, but still don't quite get it. Somebody else may actually pick out a pattern that resonates with that other person. So do please, please leave comments. Do also subscribe. I'd love you to subscribe. That would be brilliant. What I'll also do is put a link here to another playlist that I've done that is all about using nature as a 
metaphor for your life to solve problems. Hope to see you again. Bye.